Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the family. It's all good vibes over here. So we're back with Peyton's life, episode 11. Anyways, I really don't like being gone for a while because every time I come back, I get nervous all over again. And it's like, I don't know what I'm doing and it's just not it. But anyways, I was just prepping the game, ready to play, you know, ready to record as per usual. But good thing I had the camera on not the camera good thing i had the recording on because penny is outside my house looking mad as heck like of all the times for her to knock and tell me that i i need to keep the noise down every like P P P <laughs> penny how dare you not penny having me stutter this early morning Peyton is sleeping. The stereo is obviously off because the game is paused. Like, I don't know what noise she's referring to, but this is what she said. So she's like, hey, neighbor, can you kindly keep the noise down? I can hear you through the drywall. Please be considerate. Other people live here too. Now, Miss Penny Pazares, wasn't she, we're hearing yesterday pretty loudly with music and everything. See, you know, in life, yeah, I've noticed when you try to change your way and become a good person, people would try you even sims because clearly peyton is trying to change her ways and everything let's have a wake up because penny is trying us you know peyton is trying to change her way and be a good person and here comes penny the devil like why is she what noise is she guys do you hear anything nothing i don't hear nothing unless she's talking about peyton laughing peyton can you wake up please i need you to actually get up and speak to this girl what what we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna go oh my gosh like <laughs> why did she just t pose out of nowhere anyways we're gonna ignore glitches and everything today the devil is a liar i'm gonna record <laughs> but yeah let's come and talk to her and kind of see what the problem is because you were so loud during your woohoo session that i could hear you over my party music that says a lot about you let's listen to her complaint and let's see how she behaves girl stop laughing like a weirdo <laughs> okay let's see what kind of attitude penny has for us sis tread lightly tread lightly the hero oh of the okay the plushie zabris oh ah uh, um uh. peyton nah that was so unrealistic that was not the kind of reaction i was expecting peyton said i'm sorry you are right that was a bit inconsiderate we'll try to keep the noise down thanks for letting us know good neighbor first of all peyton who is us we live alone <laughs> second of all sis there is no sound coming from our house like what the i'm actually baffled i'm confused so just gonna say that response from peyton was just like she was just being sarcastic you know this is the real response right now i know it's not good to be violent but we were literally minding our business and she came to us so give her a rude introduction look at her mad angry for no reason no, I don't have a casual conversation like we're friends now. No. Unless she apologizes. No. Let's um insult her. And let's cuss her mom. <laughs> Call her mom a llama. Imply mother is a llama. Be like, that's how you look like that because your mama is a llama. <laughs> Happy holidays, Peyton. Can I come celebrate with you? There's always a holiday with you people. Leave me alone. I have things to do today. Penny was not part of my plans. Like... Squamish. Okay, I've had enough of you, Penny. Goodbye. Let's just brush her off and leave her alone. Just be like, sis, listen. It's early in the morning, okay? I don't have time for you. Like, <laughs> you are at the bottom of my problems right now. So just brush her off and leave her alone. Peyton is not even taking this serious. She sounds like she's laughing, to be honest. All right, Peyton, let's leave her alone. Like, we're done with this freaking conversation. Um, Since you're out here, I think we have posts for some reason. Ugh, let's get the mail. I'm so freaking tired. We just moved here. I feel like it's the bills from the other place followed us. I don't know how or why. We didn't even stay there, but I guess we have no freaking choice. 
Um, so what we found in our post is trash pile, which I'm now thinking is probably from Penny and our bills. So let's pay the freaking bills because we can't like avoid it as, as much as I want to be mad. Like we can't ignore it. All right. All we did was pay the freaking bills. Dang. They're probably like, congratulations, Peyton, on not being, you know, kicked out. Um, guys, I bought this back because I went back and read about this uh, martini shaker and apparently you're supposed to have like level three skills. So that was my bad. I didn't know we needed skills for it, but I'm going to have Peyton come in here. Guys, I just woke up. So if I sound shaky, excuse <laughs> ma'am. Okay, you know what? Now that you've stepped into the lion's den, or should I say the lioness, you're actually about to get your ass whipped because why? Who said she could come in? You know what? For once, I feel like maybe we should do the regular fight. <laughs> I want to see if Peyton is really about that life. Can she actually fight? But that would be so embarrassing if she lost it. Okay, you know what? Let's just beat her the, the regular way that we usually do. <laughs> guys don't worry i'm not gonna do anything violent i'm just gonna but we just cleared our freaking reputation okay we're just gonna slap her and be like excuse me i didn't ask you to come into my house like what is wrong with you wow peyton hurry up you came into my house to wash your hands peyton stop waving at me with your broken dysfunctional body <laughs> i don't know why every time she raises her arms up it looks like it's broken. Slap, slap her. Slap her quickly. Please. Thank you. Yes. Like, can you get out of my house? Still angry. Get out of my house, please. Like, remove yourself from my situation. Funny thing is, I was actually about to give this girl a makeover. Like, I was thinking about it. I did mention it in the last episode. All right. Get out. Get out. I know you're freaking out, but get out. Get out of my freaking house. I hate when these NPC sims, these unimportant sims, take my time. Like, I had things planned for today, baby. Come on. Okay, I wanted to call a service. I think it should be in home, actually. Hire a service. We need a maid, just one time. Um, because this mess, I'm not yet, yeah, no. We have things to do, and Peyton doesn't have time for this. Yeah, we don't clean and all that. Maybe once in a while, but this is too much. Oh, let me see what she's feeling. Peyton, now this is not... This uh, <coughs> This camera always tries to disgrace me every time I want to do something. Peyton, ill. Peyton, ill. <laughs> We're not doing this. For me, it is still 9.39 in the morning. It's very early in the morning. I just woke up like we're not doing this today please okay just because you slapped someone relax relax baby all right can you call the maid did she call the maid already okay thanks for hiring from maids united your maid will arrive on monday at 10 05 <gasps> no we need this place clean today what the no. <laughs> oh my god what kind of maid service doesn't work on the weekend i'm not understanding is this a thing Okay, we're going to have to clean ourselves. Thank you. I'm not paying whatever maid comes over because how do we cancel the service? <laughs> how do we cancel the service? Okay, we can cancel it. Yay, that's great. Like, why do we have compost everywhere? Even the one in your inventory, clean it. This is so gross. I have stuff to do today, please. <laughs> Recycle. Do we have any more trash in our inventory? Peyton is like, girl, I need to get high if I'm going to be doing all of this crap today. Do we have weed? Okay, we do. Because I remember buying some. Let's have Peyton smoke with her bong real quick. Just a quick hit and... I feel like bongs shouldn't take a whole, like, weed, you know? Because it's literally just a hit. It's not like you're rolling up. She takes one hit and that's it. Like, wait, okay, I was about to read what she feels. Okay, she is a dazed bear from clothing item while talking trees make perfect back scratches their plaintive cries for help get positively irritating i've never gotten that before and if i have i feel like that's for like teenagers and stuff i'm not understanding why she has that she has ocean eyes from being sad whatever just happened has peyton's eyes filled with tears okay this is what's triggering her sadness she's hungover from doing drugs Peyton woke up feeling like ish but that was one insane party last night she's stoned af on train wreck she is feeling powerful that felt great and they totally deserved it okay i guess from being mean 
totally digging me okay that's from nelson i'm really gonna try in this episode not to confuse nelson for richard because i don't know why i keep doing that um she's trying to go to bed to nap oh yeah she's not like fully rested dang it let's send her to bed okay guys so i was trying to look through my calendar and maybe plan something for tonight and here comes arun he said no one will ever believe you you know that right i first of all i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> you know what you know what we're not gonna get upset about this let's just let's just say no it's okay whatever let's just move on <laughs> these people just won't leave us alone like they need to let us sleep i don't understand how's Peyton meant to get her beauty sleep here comes richard again yeah hey, i heard you became friends with nelson jones he's pretty cool please don't tell me you know him like mind your business sir anyway Peyton. ah no how is it 120 and people are still having children people are still having babies octavia bailey had one female baby with thorn bailey bro people are still having babies today's my favorite holiday i want to come spread some holiday chair with you this is from nelson <laughs> we're just gonna have peyton say um how about we just meet up later i have quite a few things to do i like how peyton is not always available for nelson and she always kind of reschedules even if it's on the same day it's it almost puts you back in control of the situation you know <laughs> anyways we're gonna come and click at girl she was about to take some pills okay not right now please clearly now we have plans for later today look at penny let me see your face <laughs> oh girl i understand the cheeks but like why is there blood splatters on her forehead oh she's breaking out dang she's going through it <laughs> oh my goodness camera away like there's something oh, Peyton, Peyton, guys Guys, can you tell me why Peyton's arms are broken? So I found a ring in Clement's bag. I think he's going to propose to me. I don't know what to do. What should I say? Yes, no, God. Girl, what do you mean? Yes, no. Of course, you want to say yes. Like, is she getting nervous now? Girl, say freaking yes. Like, you proved everybody wrong. You told us you could get Santa. No one believed you, but you did. See? <laughs> You're right. Of course, I should say yes. What was I thinking? OMG, I can't believe this is happening. Oh, Deja, baby guys deja is getting married to santa close oh my gosh Peyton is looking kind of crazy right now and she stinks okay guys back to what i was saying why does Peyton's arms do that like i'm kind of i'm kind of worried i'm worried about my girl like what's going on and why can't she wash the freaking dishes why are we throwing them away have i broken my game i'm not understanding let me put it in the trash myself then this is your mess, Peyton. Why am I cleaning up? Hmm? Okay, she's finally cleaning in, in Peyton fashion. And she's going to drop it now. Every time she comes here, she drops it. I don't... <laughs> oh my gosh. We just moved in here and it's broken. Okay, something about this area here makes her do that. Like, there's no trash can here. I don't know why she's coming over here. We're just going to say Peyton is cleaning up. Even though I'm doing all the work for something I didn't partake in sheesh no our jumbo shrimps are spoiled empty that and take it to the bin i hope you can at least like empty that one <gasps> the bin is full oh my goodness the bin is full <laughs> that is technical difficulties it is two in the afternoon please this makes no sense this makes no sense all right let me put the rest in the trash peyton come back i need the light i can't say um, any more trash? Oh, there's some over here. Peyton, I'm not even, like, understanding how I'm cleaning up for your party. I really don't like this. Oh, okay, well, a bit stressed. Let's light something. Evocative lemon. I feel like I always do that. Let's do soothing sage, okay? We're very, very stressed right now. Let's do... Let's do... <laughs> Or maybe I'm the only one that's freaking stressed, bro. Let's do some soothing sage. And now we're going to go through our presents that our friends got for us. Our housewarming presents. So we got this from um, Nelson. Nelson got us this a teddy bear made of roses, I guess. And it's really cute, to be honest, if I do say so myself. Guys, are you ready for this? <laughs> this is what Tamara got us a freaking vibrator <laughs> so we're gonna have Peyton put it next to her bed yes <laughs> mom if you're watching this episode please don't watch it please <laughs> in the last episode my mom told me she was watching it and she was dying laughing like crazy 
anyway, um, so this is from Deja. She got us a cute purse, Chloe Drew bag. Um, I'm guessing that's designer. I'm not familiar with designers because I don't care about like I don't care about labels and crap like that. And um, this is from Rem. What's her name? Remy. Yeah, it was Remy, right? Remy got us a bottle of Ciroc yes baby everyone just literally bought us things that Peyton actually likes you know it's like they really know us even Remy that just became a friend I guess she's a friend now she got us something that we actually appreciate that we like so we're just gonna leave that there unfortunately it's only decor but it's a whatever so let's take our purse inside you know Deja got it for us and I really appreciate it next to our vibrito <laughs> I can't believe that that's what Tamara got us um yeah that's it and if you remember jay paid for our makeover our hair and lashes and nails so that's his present but yeah she has some new mood it says hang nail from high maintenance trait peyton's nails have rebelled against her girl we just did your nails what are you talking about she's so high maintenance it's ridiculous I was actually gonna have her go to the gym should i still do it yeah let's go to the gym even though we kind of stink Let's just um, wash our hands and brush our face to get some hygiene. And then when we get back, we can really shower off a roll. So we're going to do that real quick. And um, yeah, we're going to go to the gym. And oh, we're actually about to get a piercing today. I'm not going to tell you where the piercing is. You're just going to have to keep watching. I was really about to make her go to the gym like this. And knowing Peyton, she will show up like that. So let's change <laughs> into our um, athletic wear girl stop this you look scary stop this okay don't let penny ruin your progress you've been doing so well can we not not pay in practicing how to scare people in the mirror she's like oh i look scary <laughs> okay let's go to the gym so guys we are here at um sky gym in san Maishino because this is where we live so it's just easy to access and um <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a Remy, but okay. I don't know what she's wearing. <laughs> so since Nelson texted us earlier that he wanted to spend time with us, Peyton just invited him to the gym with us because we did say to him on the phone that we would meet up later. So I guess um hug hug him quickly. Just hug, no flirting, please. We want to work out and we have other things to do. So let's just oh <coughs> I subconsciously went to romance. I'm such a dirty girl. And then we're gonna go on the treadmill. Ooh, girl, let me push up your hygiene quickly because we don't need Nelson sniffing at us. How is she still stinking? Uh, did we just get a minus? Ah! <laughs> Look at Nelson, uh, Peyton, do you smell that? <laughs> This game is just against Peyton. Just a hater. Peyton's just like, so Nelson, my day's really busy, so I just felt invited to the gym. And Nelson is just like, no, it's okay. Like, it's still kind of spending time together. Are you going to come with us? Why are they both sweating? They have not done anything. Okay, not us matching athletic wears. I didn't even notice. These nails on Peyton is hilarious. Like, they're so long. <laughs> like, how she gets anything done is beyond me. She is feeling immediately flirty because of him. In love with someone's partner, girl. We still have our relationships with everyone. So maybe, I don't know, maybe he's one of them's here. With Dominic, with Amelia, with Richard, Eric. <laughs> I mean, you never know. Something could still happen with them again in future. You never know. Guys, can you do this quickly? Um, what else are we going to go on? We're just going to have our run. Girl. Okay. What's your name? Jenna. <laughs> Jenna's actually so pretty. I'm feeling the black eyeshadow, sis. We're going to pretend we didn't see you fall. We'll just pretend to hide your shame. Peyton, you better not fall. She is feeling this workout real good. Okay, another thing that Peyton's always, you know, wanted to do is I hope there's a punching bag available. Urgh. Nox, uh, I need the punching bag. How is there a bar at a gym? I don't understand the purpose of that. Okay, we don't have a punching bag, so we're just gonna go home. I know we just got here, but we're not planning to stay here forever. Let's just work out till about five and then we're gonna go home. 
All right, I think we're done now. Stop talking to me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Thank you. Wow, Peyton, you stink really, really badly. Yeah, I heard you became friends with Nelson Jones. He's pretty cool. Jay, thank you. Ah. <laughs> Why are you taking a nap on the machine, Kiyoshi? Kiyoshi, are you okay? Kiyoshi, baby, are you still alive? Talk to me. Kiyoshi. <laughs> the way they hop back on the thing no don't shower here we're gonna go home to shower okay girl i get it you're hungry and you're dirty i get it i get it we'll, we'll, we'll get to that soon so speaking of the piercing that we wanted to get i can't remember exactly where it was all right guys i couldn't find what i was looking for but i think maybe i'll check when we get home i think I, it's something i have to buy from the be by mold before i'm able to get the piercing i don't know but i'm gonna figure it out and if not we'll just move on to the next activity but yeah let's go home guys please I knew she was about to do that. This girl is just crazy. She's never going to change. So guys, we're back home and um, I was intending to sell this air fryer after we've like emptied it, you know. But the food spoiled and yeah, that's that. So the air fryer we bought for 350 simoleons is now worth 15 simoleons. <laughs> that is just wrong on every level. Okay. I'm not going to take the whole 350, but I think they should have given us at least 200 for that. That's what I'm saying. So 185 plus the 15 that they just gave us, isn't that like 200? I'm hoping my maths is right. Yeah, so just add that. Thank you. Because that's just rude to me. I want to put this teddy bear somewhere. I'm thinking maybe in the room. Because if Nelson comes to our house and sees the teddy bear somewhere too important in the living room, He's going to be feeling real special, so no. All right, I guess we're going to put it up here where the vibrator is. Girl, I didn't say grab the whole thing. And then we can put the vibrator. Should we put it here? Yeah. <laughs> we can put it there. I still can't believe Tamara did that. But now I want to buy her a laptop because I really want to try and get this piercing for Peyton. But yeah, let's do this thing. Let's see what options we have here. Oh, this whole time we could have done VIP membership. I didn't know. Maybe that's why we kept getting the trash men. We could have gone for VIP and try something. But let me just look for this thing quickly so that I'm not wasting time and I'll be back, guys. All right, guys, this is what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> get your mm, pierced okay so we're gonna have Peyton pierce her kitty cat <laughs> all right Peyton go and get it done don't tell me she just stood there and it's just done now there's no way okay I'm hoping it works because I used it like two years ago when I wasn't on YouTube and listen my sims just do wild things when I play alone I guess that reflects on Peyton maybe I'll have her actually sit down first come and sit down if she can Yay, she can. Yes. Is she blushing or is she breaking out? Which one? She is so stinky. She can literally get an infection. Oh, girl. Really? <laughs> no, there's something about semi you know. The cameras are just wonky AF. Like, especially when you get into tab mode. But yeah, um, she could probably get a, an infection if she doesn't shower before getting her thing pierced, you know. I don't know why she's typing so much just to get something pierced. Like, can we hurry this up? Okay, she's going to get it done. Ah! Appointment confirmation. Greetings, Peyton, from the only person shop that will pierce any hole, no matter the anatomy. Oh, girl, that was quick. We are ready to see you ASAP on today. Please arrive 15 minutes early to give yourself time to sign the mandatory release of liabilities forms and to give us the time to decide if the cameras should be removed uh what <laughs> we are also pleased to announce that we almost guarantee no one will be recording you getting your sensitive kitty pierce can't wait to see you wow you guys are trifling for that <laughs> they how do you feel are you in pain was it good let me see healing kitty Peyton's little Oh my goodness. I'm just very aware that this is going on YouTube and I'm getting very nervous. But I mean, it's fine. I'm not showing anything. Healing Kitty. Peyton's little kitty has a recovering wound from her new piercing. During this time, she'll be a bit more sensitive than usual and will need to take special care to ensure the piercing heals properly. How do we take care of it? Do we have like solutions and stuff that we can use? Okay, that's the only thing she's feeling and she's still hungover from the pills. 
I really think he maybe peels on for Peyton because they make her sad when they wear off and but we still have we have so many left I mean we could sell it we should probably just stick to weeds and alcohol because this one is not it okay so they said we're sensitive I guess we can't use our vibrator anyways we have no plans to use them I don't even know why Tamara would get us that because Peyton never self woohoos like she's always got someone she can call up if she needs to but anyways now that we've done that I'm gonna have Peyton shower. It's about time. We need to freaking shower. And it is basically seven. Okay. Congratulations on your new little secret piercing, Peyton. If you'd like to order more piercings, then feel free to do so off the edgy web. We suggest you take your first few days with your new piercing slow. <laughs> During this healing time, try to refrain from lower body unclothed sexual activity with a partner or the piercing may get ripped out. Ah! Similar results may occur while swimming. Additionally, not going commando will speed up your recovery time significantly. If you remove the piercing during this recovery time, then your kitty will heal. Enjoy your new life and be reminded that you, Peyton, waved all rights to see the little secrets parlor. We hope to see you again. I don't I don't like the way they're emphasizing on the fact that <laughs> they're not liable for anything that happens. So basically, we can't take a shower, a bath, we can't even woohoo. And we kind of have a Zik appointment tonight. Not gonna lie to you guys. Okay, why did she cancel? Okay, you know what? We don't have time. We're gonna take a steamy shower then. Yay, she can reach now. Yes, baby. Now shower quickly. Peyton, we are fighting against time. And I know that that's partly my fault, but mostly Penny's fault. Okay, change this. I beg you, change this. You know what? Just turn it off. <laughs> this is this is the wrong sim. Oh, Richard, leave me alone. <gasps> Guys, no way, no way, no way, no way. Why would he say this to us? Hello? Are you a virgin? I don't pay for used goods. Wanna meet and let me check? Oh, if we didn't already have plans today, I would have said, cool, let's meet up and beat the crap. I would have beat the crap out of him. How? Nah, how dare you? Oh, you are on my list. You are number one on my list. You are so lucky. Guys, do you see how... Listen, you know when we were like being a bad girl all of like that? No one tested us because they knew not to try us. Even people that didn't know us knew about us. Now that we're trying to change our ways, look at the different people that the devil is just sending our way. Richard said that to us. Richard said that to us. All right, no worries. Okay, so guys, whilst we went to the gym with Nelson, he obviously, you know, he was like, I was hoping I could, you know, invite you over and cook you something, like maybe dinner. Peyton was just looking at him like, hmm, come over to your place and have dinner, right? <laughs> and he was like, no, really, for real, Peyton, I really want to get to know you. Like, you're cool, blah, blah, blah. So we have a dinner date. That's the whole point. We have a dinner date with Nelson at his house. I don't know if I trust his food because he, I don't think he can cook. So this is what we're wearing. But seeing as it's basically winter now, it's cloudy, cool, and there's a chance of rain. We're going to change into our winter wear. So basically our winter wear, guys, I basically made our winter wear this same outfit, but like with a jacket on it. I just want realism, you know, just a little bit of realism. I'm not asking for too much. There we go. Oh, look at Peyton. Oh my goodness. The hair is clipping with the hat, but it's whatever. We're going to ignore it. It's the front that matters. What? She's so adorable to me. Like, are you crazy? Yeah. This, this is how she gets the men. Has them thinking she's all innocent and then she just sinks her claws into them. But anyways, guys, we're going to go over to Nelson's place. I almost said freaking Richard, bro. He actually pissed me off with that crap. I'll see you over there. Okay, guys, so we are here at Nelson's place. As you can see, he's outside. He came to pick um, Peyton Ah, They're right over there, right over there. And this is just one of the many places that he owns. Um, this one is actually in San Maishuno, just like where Peyton lives. But he's on the other side of the city. But he like really stays in this place. He just comes here for business. This man is beyond rich. And as per usual, he has guards because he's shady AF. And he has this one. I'm thinking this is the like, I don't know head of security because this is the same guy that was in our house. But we've never met this one lady right here. She didn't come over last time because it was two guys. But anyways, let's blow him a kiss. Yeah, let's just be very tempting. Let's blow him one, but not give him the real thing, you know. But yeah, Peyton is looking real good. Not with the bag in your hand, oh, sis. Wow. Oh, look at 
look at him melting. Ooh, he's been caught in her trap. She's like, anyways, no time for chit chat. I'm really hungry. Like, Nelson, come on. I came hungry. You said it was a dinner date, so I didn't want to be like full. How do we have no energy? Okay, let's come straight here and make some. Let's make some coffee because we need energy. I'm. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Let's just make instant coffee. Hopefully, we get some energy from that. All right, stop talking to Nelson. No. 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 Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No woohooing. <laughs> this two are so horny. It's actually annoying to me. Girl, why is there a hole in your chest? Oh, Peyton, what is happening to you? Why am I seeing through you? Ew. Did you hear me? I said ill. Okay, now that we're inside, we can take our hat, jacket, and bag off. And hopefully this freaking hole will be gone. Because I'm not understanding. <laughs> oh, my game just needs resuscitation. It is so dead. So we can see it through the front, but not the back. That makes so much sense. I'm hoping I change the outfit and it goes away. I'm hoping. Girl, change your outfit. You can do that whilst holding a cup sheesh please hold be gone be gone yay okay I, I guess it has something to do with the jacket that was so annoying <gasps> are you cooking yes i mean that looks like one serving of blt but hopefully you're cooking something for us i can't believe he's actually cooking oh my goodness okay let's see what you're making please please tell me you're making something for both of us please that would be so cute guys on the next episode we have to go and meet this man and whoop his Ugh, but they put us in jail you know what you know what we have a connection now now that we know nelson we're gonna know how rich and powerful he really is because we're gonna tell nelson about richard and tell him babe there's someone harassing me and they're like they keep saying horrible things to me <laughs> yeah in the next episode we're gonna do that because richard is trying me hey beautiful i'm in the mood want to spend some time together no 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 thank you um wait why did they just say the wow peyton was about to go and hook up with someone outside sis sis i feel like this is her fight or flight instincts kicking in like she's fighting and flighting <laughs> she knows she likes nelson and she's she's literally trying to run away go, go, go back inside so i guess nelson is just like to peyton okay peyton i tried to make something fancy but it literally looks mediocre can we make something together and peyton is like i <laughs> i'm a chef so it's cool italian meatballs okay but is that is that one serving or i i don't like that they didn't ask me how many servings i wanted wait what's this feeling awkward seating peyton's kitty is sensitive from recently being pierced when she transitions to sit in the extra movement causes a slight pain peyton wow so her piercing is hurting bruh i don't know if they're gonna woohoo tonight okay she just took her birth control <laughs> Even though she already took one earlier today, she's like, mm -mm. the way this guy is looking at me, let me take another one. <laughs> Peyton is a clown, I swear. Okay, we're supposed to be cooking together, but as usual, he's just standing there. And the, the other sim just leaves us to do everything. But it's okay, I'd rather not have food poisoning or whatever. So if I have to do it myself, I guess I will. So we're gonna cook. Ooh, Peyton just makes me wanna eat her food. Oh, okay, he's actually doing something. After we literally just finished cooking, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Bro, chill. Like, you can clearly see that there's something there. Why would you put the food there? Why? Let's try putting it over here. So many space, but you had to put it over there. All right, let's grab a serving together. Quarter meal and eat um nelson jones let's grab one together is there a seating area yeah i guess we can sit here all right let's come and sit here together and get to know each other um we're gonna hire should we hire a mixologist i feel like okay maybe i'll just control nelson yeah i think i'll do that let's see actions and control sim all right so when we're done with the food dang look at peyton she scoffed that in two seconds bro two seconds all right we're gonna have him make drink for everyone yeah make drinks for everyone 
I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's level 10 mixology, so <laughs> we don't need to call anyone. We know how to do this ourselves. Oh, yes, let's do some wine. Soft Shadow of Av Avalino. Okay. <laughs> let's make some wine. And Richard is just trying to. I said I wouldn't say Richard. Nelson. Nelson, Nelson. I mean Nelson, guys. Nelson is just trying to woo us and impress us. And so we've just had dinner and Nelson made some wine and he pulled out some wine. Nelson, grab your wine. Come on. You know it's yours. So let's grab this and come and talk to Peyton. Let's come and sit here together. No, Peyton, we're going to sit here together. Oh, she made the noise because of her little kitty piercing. Peyton, I'm sorry. I'm not really. Like, she wanted it. Look at all these moodless that she gets when she's next to him. From seeing a hot sim and... <gasps> what does this say? It says this sussy dripping from being a horny sim. Somebody around here is all riled up. It's honestly making my little tits jump. Um, cannabis induced euphoria. Don't worry about a thing. She's stoned and high on train wreck. Delicious dish, of course, baby. You never fail with your meals. And yeah, the seating is still making her a little tut tut her. <laughs> Caffeine bars. Okay, so we're good. I mean, she needs to pee soon, but I might just cheat that in a little bit. I'll ignore it for now. So we're going to sit here and just drink our wine. And um, we're going to have Richard bro stop calling this man richard it's disgusting he's nelson 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 so um i'm hoping they can talk on the couch but let's give her a bold pickup line okay did you have to stand up okay i guess he finished his wine okay give her a bold pickup line we're gonna try and get to know her and um yeah <laughs> <laughs> bro can you guys stay in one place please this is why i pause things okay you know what i'm gonna cheat um patents just cheat that a little a little bit all right now so um nelson's gonna try and get to know Peyton a little bit let's have a pleasant conversation you know what let's ask about her day and you know just get get ourselves comfortable and acquainted you're, you're talking too much it's just like, how did your day go? Peyton is like, you don't even want to know. It was horrid. And usually Peyton would have, you know, talked about the fact that she got a new piercing. But I don't know why she's been a bit mean to Nelson. Um, let's discuss interest. And he's like, so Peyton, what are you interested in? And as you can see, Peyton is a bit passionate about whatever she was talking about. And we're going to tell her a funny story about what happened today. So... Nelson can see that she's a bit guarded, but she is talkative. Peyton is not shy. She's very bold. So, um, we're not going to... Okay, we're going to ask to give her a massage. <laughs> Even though Peyton is like, hmm, okay, just a massage. Just a massage. Look at her being all flirty. Like, she can't help it. She obviously likes him, but she's just trying to fight it. She's trying so hard to fight it, but we know it's going to happen. Um... Let's have a deep conversation and Nelson is just going to be like, Peyton, obviously I'm not going to be around the bush. I really like you. And um, he wants to be, you know, exclusive with her. <laughs> Look at Peyton looking at him like, mm -hmm. yeah, sure. And you're just, you're single. You're not married or anything. <laughs> ah! Give her the freaking massage, my guy. Nelson is too freaking smooth with it. Like, are you crazy? oh look Peyton can't help it she cannot help it bro can you zoom in seriously like Peyton cannot freaking help it look at her she is so in love <laughs> let's just compliment her outfit because we know like you know women put effort into their dressing so do men but you know it's always nice to compliment a woman especially if she's coming to see you looking good you know she put effort and thought into it um let's just make out a little bit and you know Peyton is not opposed to a little makeout session. We're just gonna have them do a little makeout sesh. Peyton is looking mighty thick. I'm not even gonna front. She is looking thick in all the right places, my darling. So yeah, we're just gonna make have them make out a little bit. You know, Peyton has been cautious, but she does find this man attractive as her mood lets shoulders. She finds him attractive, but guys, that's enough. Like why did they take so long? Huh. Guys, enough. enough. Uh, uh, guys. I feel like the next thing they're going to try and do is woohoo. Okay, thank you. No. 
<laughs> How did I know? How did I know? <laughs> Guys, this, these two can't keep it in their pants. Our bodies weren't designed to be apart. Wanna close the distance? <laughs> Bro, what is this dialogue from? Is this from Wicked Woohoo? If it is, you did your thing, Turbo Driver. Like, whoever did this dialogue did the damn thing. <laughs> they just have me cackling you mean you want to have with who i'm done with that i don't feel like closing the distance wrong time wrong place not right now wrong time wrong place i guess it's not the wrong time or the wrong place but okay i guess they have to get up for her to reject him even though at least she just did it she's slay. just like she's like buddy like you keep asking oh. me to with who i thought you invited me here to get to know me and he's just like Peyton, come on you know i'm playing with you like <laughs> No, nah, there's no way to recover from that. You're moving way too fast. Like, that's the second time that Peyton, you know, rejected him. So, hmm. I wonder why. Anyways, we're going to be like, um, okay, let's switch back to Peyton. And Peyton is just going to be like, you know what? I see what you're asking for. I just want to ask though. Like, I need to know. I need to be clear what you're looking for. So Peyton is like, so are you single? Because to be honest with you, I only go for married men. They're just very honest and... I'm only interested in like sugar relationships, you know, like sugar daddy type thing. And Nelson is just like, no, I'm not trying to be one of the sugar daddies that you've had. Like, I really want I something special with you. Look at Peyton. She's not believing crap. She's like, mm-hmm. But you've asked me to wait here twice. Not very convincing. And Nelson is just like, babe, listen, just because I asked you to woohoo doesn't mean I don't want to take you serious. It just means I'm really attracted to you. He's going to whisper sweet nothings and be like, if we need to hold off, I don't mind doing that. If that shows you how serious I am about you. <laughs> I hate having to narrate what they're talking about because like, it's all in my girly voice trying to speak. Nelson, Nelson, we should practice making love to keep our form up. How about a training session right now? Sign me up, coach. Count me out for now, maybe later. Time out for me. Okay, you know what? I'm going to flat out reject him because this is getting ridiculous. I'm not going to blame him. I don't know why they keep making him ask. So anyways, back to the story. Um, She's asking him, like, basically, she's kind of proposing to him that, you know, if you want to see more of me, you're going to have to... We're gonna have to get into like a sugar agreement that's the only way you're gonna see more of me because you have to pay for my attention baby <laughs> if you really want me and i guess nelson is kind of saying no he doesn't want to blend in with everyone else and let's give him a massage now we're gonna have peyton actually flirt with him and be like listen this is one of the perks of you know being in a sugar relationship with me obviously you get me in a more intimate way and whatever because she obviously knows that she's being a bit cold i guess she's trying to prove to herself that he's trash just like other men you know so she's offering him something that she feels like he can't turn down but he's basically flat out saying no oh, <laughs> look at his face he's like but why <laughs> she's like well i guess this is going nowhere look at her face she's like mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> she scared me i totally forgot she was still there uh, oh i guess this is why peyton is a bit uncomfortable she's like why does this man always have guards around like how are we supposed to flirt and crap and nelson, nelson is used to it he just doesn't even acknowledge that someone is there peyton is quite sleepy though mm. but anyways he's just like peyton why come on like you haven't even given me a chance you're just assuming all this stuff about me just ask me questions like whatever you want to know about me but anyways uh we're just gonna be like okay so you say you're single um have you ever been married or like are you divorced or ask about his love life and he's just gonna be like well i did used to be married i'm actually widowed he lost his wife a few years ago and it's been a while and he hasn't really dated anyone seriously he never thought he'd want to get serious with anyone ever again because you know that was his, the love of his life he didn't think it was possible to like kind of fall in love twice but He's really intrigued by Peyton. So he's going to ask her, are you single? Like, you're a beautiful girl. I know you. you've probably got a lot of guys on your phone. She's like, no, nah, I don't do relationships. I'm single. <laughs> She's like, well, I hear what you're saying. And I'm sorry for your loss, you know. That's really sad that you find someone that you love and you lose them. But, you know, I'm just not buying the fact that you actually have real feelings for me. And he's like, you know what? Let's just give it a trial. I guess they're watching a movie. I should have been playing music this whole time. Look at me. Let's turn on the freaking music. Something romantic. Maybe some jazz. Let's play some jazz. Let's see what that is like. 
Not him playing a fireplace on TV. That is adorable. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that on TV. That's crazy. Wow. Okay, that's so romantic. Peyton. Whoa. What's going on? A vendor. Why are you in Nelson's house? Nelson, are you not going to react to the person in your house? But anyways, Peyton is just like, okay, excuse me. I'm just going to go to the toilet, you know. So we're going to go to the toilet. Oh, her feelings are so contradicting because look at her. She is tense from being around a smug sim. She just doesn't like that. He's so confident and cocky and like he seems to get whatever he wants. But like she's so attracted to him and like turned on and all like that. So she just, she hates to love him, basically. She hates the fact that she likes him. So Peyton is going to come and pee, but even after peeing, we're going to quickly call Tamara because Peyton is freaking out now. She's just like, oh my uh -huh. gosh, this guy is such a smooth talker. And why am I having this kind of conversation with him? This is so unlike me. Let's just chat with Tamara quickly. I'm going to be like, Tamara, please snap me out of this. Like, I actually think I like this guy. Girl, that was a quick freaking conversation. Is she sleeping? What? I'm sleeping. Call later. Tamara, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you? You're my friend. You should be available whenever I need you to be. Okay, we're going to chat some more. So Peyton is just like, bitch, like, oh my goodness. I need to get away from this guy. So I'm having a date with Nelson Wright and I'm in trouble. Like, I think I actually like this dude. And Tamara's like, girl, what? And Peyton is like, I know, I know, like, just snap me out of it, talk some sense into me, remind me who I am, because, girl, I don't remember right now, like, I don't know left from right, this guy is just all up in my head, and Tamara is like, before I do that, <laughs> bitch, Tamara's just laughing at Peyton, like, so someone finally got under your skin, like, I thought you would never fall in love, and now she's like, Peyton, you are in charge, you're a bad B, you play the game, okay, don't let the game play you, like, take charge, like, this is just another man another man that's just after one thing we all know what they're after so let him use you for whatever he wants and you use him and take his money and <laughs> i guess yeah that's the conversation and tomorrow kind of snapped us out of it yeah whatever you're sleeping but you still helped anyways so peyton is like okay i'm a bad pig like how could i forget that like come on peyton let's go <laughs> So we're going to come back and sit down. Did you, no, let's wash our hands first, please. We're not trying to play with germs and crap. Um, wash your hands, baby. I can't believe we've had this freaking dinner date till two and we're having a serious conversation and we're not woohooing. Hello. Like, this is Peyton, for goodness sake. Now that she's spoken to Tamara, she thinks, well, we're going to say that she's trying to take charge of the situation. And so, yeah, we're going to just have Peyton really pull out all the all the works you know pull, pull out the charm you know attempt to seduce him and she's just gonna be like you know what it's fine let's just bro are you good like let's not do this okay you're a big boy let's not do this all right so we're gonna have Peyton attempt to seduce him she's gonna be like so I hear what you're saying but let's just forget all of that tonight you know let's have fun it's the middle of the night and you know the mood is kind of nice oh there's music as well peyton can you stop staring at him please and the watching it she's just like you know the mood is nice and i get that you want to be serious why do we keep so she got a minus and he got a plus <laughs> to be honest that works out for me because it shows that peyton is just why did who's she getting a minus with i'm not understanding but anyway, she's just like, you know, Nelson, do you want to, you know, maybe you've been asking. I'm finally giving in and all of that. Okay, I haven't even asked them to do anything, but I guess they're going to go do it. Where are they going to do it? Okay, so this is where they decided to come and woohoo. Wow, you better use protection, girl. All right, so it's Nelson Jones and Peyton Bennett are having woohoo. And, uh, <gasps> whoa, where's the fire? Out of nowhere, randomly. I can hear it, but I can't see it because of this guy wait how did he get in here <laughs> guys i didn't even see him come here how did this happen oh good i'm happy that you set yourself on fire as well wow 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 <laughs> It literally interrupted our woohoo. Oh crap, I forgot that they said we shouldn't have woohoo when we're, you know, healing from our kitty piercing. Did it did it have any effects on her? Okay, no, it didn't. 
Richard, your house is burning down. They're both so tense. They're like, oh my goodness, what's happening? How? Wait, so what do you have security for? Because how did that man get in your house? Is he dying? I hope he dies because you came in and said so. <gasps> the fire is spreading. Someone call the fire department, please. Call fire department, Richard. Nelson. <laughs> No, not the rude of his session. Oh my goodness. Peyton, you just stay out there. Nelson, do not go into the fire. Nelson, I can't lose you. I cannot lose you. Hello, ML. Love of my life. Please. Nelson, call the fire department. What is this? You know what? I hope you die. I hope you die because you started up. How do you die in a fire you started? Firefighters are like, thank you for your call. Firefighters are on their way to help right now. In the meantime, get to safety and try not to panic. Okay. <laughs> ah, no. Nelson, just don't do anything. Oh, it is officially winter. Look at Peyton outside freaking out. <laughs> okay, you guys came quick. Can you go and put the fire out then? Hello? Ma'am. <laughs> oh, he died. <laughs> Look at that. Someone died. Someone gave birth. Miko Fabulous had two male babies. Um, Liliana had one female. Okay. I don't know why everyone's having babies, but it's enough. Like, we get it. Bro. Oh, why is Nelson's beard like this? That was so weird. Ma'am, why are you standing around? There's an emergency. Oh my goodness. Are they going to let the whole house burn down? And the security is just standing there being useless, sir. <gasps> so there's a fire person outside and there's one in here. And no one's doing squat diddly. And now you're on fire yourself. How does that work? <laughs> this is the worst date ever. I, I swear. Okay, I think I'm going to have to. I can't even click on it. I was going to cheat the fire. Who's gonna help us if the fire department can't even do anything? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And we were just in here too. Imagine if we stayed in here. <gasps> no, Nelson's house. They're gonna let this fire spread everywhere. Nelson, do you wanna try and come and put the fire out? Ma'am, do something. Your colleague is dying. <laughs> I hate the sim so much. I hate the same so much. Okay, I'm gonna have Nelson come and try and put it out. And then she's gonna go into the fire as well. Okay, that's a bit loud for me. And she's walked right into the fire to go and die as well. Bro. <laughs> I feel bad for Nelson because I feel like this only happened because we came over. This chaos followed Peyton. I don't know if Peyton is cursed, but. <laughs> Nelson, you're too close to the fire! Okay, okay, put it out, put it out, put it out, put it out. He's about to die. I don't even care about saving you because how do you die? I, like, ugh, you're supposed to help me. No, sir. Okay, I thought that was going to set him on fire. Look, it took two... S oh, I wish Nelson didn't save him. I thought he was going to die. How am I doing your freaking job for you? How, bro? <laughs> okay, at least Nelson didn't lose a lot of things. What's your name? Hideki and wh who who are you? And me. We're gonna have Nelson. Um, Nelson, there's still a fire. Extinguish it. You can't reach. So we can't extinguish this fire because we can't reach it. Ah, oh, great, great. Extinguished, bro. How can you not reach? It's right there. It's gonna spread. <laughs> are you guys gonna do it? No. We're just gonna be standing here. Peyton really came here for this crap. She's still outside. She's like, what the freak is this? I shouldn't have come. Can you put this out? 962. Okay, everything is out now. The fire has been put out. Just try to be a little more careful next time. Okay. Who said that? Which one of you said that? Which one of you said that? Which? You? You said that? First of all, you get yelled at first. Because you stood there the whole time. Rude introduction. Let's have Peyton come and yell at this one right here that almost died um what can we say to that other one yo yell at that one as well no do not let them go yell at them 
I guess they're going. <laughs> no, don't let them go. Peyton, catch one of them on their way out. Catch me outside. How about that? Who is this stranger coming to my house? Hello, can I help you? This whole thing is a, is just chaotic. Okay, we're going to leave this place. Forget talking to people. We're going to leave. Forget it, forget it, forget it. But we're going to go back to our place and let Nelson sleep over because we just had a very traumatic experience and even Peyton is not that heartless, okay? So let's go home with Nelson. <laughs> All right, guys, we're both here together. Let me see what they're feeling. What does it say? Saved by firefighters. No, they did not. That was Nelson. Nelson did all of that. But we're just going to say she's giving the credit to Nelson. Those firefighters arrived in just the nick of time. What a close one. Thinking about the fire, it's hard to stop thinking about what happened. Yeah, and what could have happened, you know? Y'all could have died. Uh, satisfying with her, babes. You barely did anything. Nelson, what are you feeling? Bravely extinguishing a blaze really boosts a sim's confidence. Yes, you should be proud of yourself. Those firefighters were so freaking useless. I don't care from hearing about X. They still alive. Oh, how nice. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out why I need to hear this. Oh, that's how he feels about the conversation with Peyton. He is so jealous. Okay, let's have both of them go inside. And then Peyton is just going to be like, you know make yourself at home i know this was very stressful even i'm shaking sorry that that happened to you and um let's just you know we have our sage still going on is it it's not okay let's um put on a soothing sage and let's put on music just trying to create a calm atmosphere <laughs> For Nelson and Peyton, because she went through it too. We're just going to be like, so you like jazz, right? And I'm going to put that on for him. And Peyton is like, you can have a shower if you want. And um, yeah, I guess Nelson still wants to pee, you know? And Nelson is like, you know, do you want to join me? Like you were stressed too. We can say water. <laughs> and let's just say we're here with Nelson in the shower. Bro, why? 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 Guys, why? Why do you always do this to me? And why can't they shower together? Does that only work with showers? Alright. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> you guys suck. But let's just go in here then. I guess we're not gonna shower. Let's go in here and have the regular woohoo because I'm tired of things glitching and not working out. So let's ask him. Please tell me you can reach. Bruh. <laughs> Peyton, you make life so hard. I guess it's the camera, right? It's the freaking camera, right? Where can I move the camera to? Nah, the way this house is so small, it's actually crazy. There's barely space to do anything. Okay, that's not really realistic, but I'll just leave that there. Can we go and do this now, Peyton, please? I'm trying to end this episode. It's been way too long. All right, come on, ask him for the third time. And he says yes every single time because Peyton is that girl. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to have regular woohoo and we're going to end the episode. They've, listen, Peyton had a long and weird day and now they're just having, they had a stressful day and they're just comforting each other. You know, they're adults. They're just comforting each other the way that they know how to. And yeah, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. This was just like, you know, a different vibe for Peyton. She's finally met her match, I guess. You know, he's not giving in to being her sugar daddy and he's not giving up on, you know, being her man. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click that like button, subscribe and click that notification bell so that you know when I post a video. Until next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.